Today, I will talk about the top 5 strongest classes in the Soul Knight prequel game in Season 1. Please follow my channel and send a thousand times of happiness to your loved ones. Hello everyone, I'm NDL. I want to mention beforehand that I rely on the Valkyrie ranking table to create this video. So there may be other strong classes, but they may not rank high because players are lazy to play Valkyrie. If you disagree with this ranking table, you can leave your opinions in the comment section. Let's get started. We'll start with the fifth position. That's none other than the Bastion. A class combining Archer and Aegis. With the Grandmaster Heartseeker build direction and inherent durability, it's easy to climb high in Valkyrie. The biggest limitation of this class is its relatively low damage output. Even the top player struggles to defeat monsters, so weaker players will face significant difficulties. But at least, with the defensive capability of the Bastion, the character is guaranteed not to die suddenly during Valkyrie climbing. In the fourth position among the strongest classes currently is the Warleach. A class combining Warrior and Aegis. The Warleach class is powerful and relatively easy to play, as it doesn't require high-quality equipment, and most importantly, it's free. It boasts high damage output and good defense. Especially when combined with the Lifesteal Fatebound, it's hard to die. Climbing Valkyrie is also easier thanks to the Whirlwind Slash skill of the Warrior class. In the third position is the Wild Walker. A combination of Herbalist and Warrior. This class is expensive to obtain, so naturally, it's stronger. No need for complex fate bound or specific equipment sets. Just having the three-piece set of Blowout, Black Knight, and Energy Shield, you can easily climb the tower. Overall, the Wild Walker's equipment is relatively easy to obtain. The second position belongs to the name that once dominated in Season 0, the Shinobi. A combination of Animancer and Thief. Although the formidable power of the Shinobi in Season 0 was due to bugs, after the fix in Season 1, this class is still quite strong. Even after the nerf to the Summoning Summon Fatebound, the Shinobi class still holds its ground. With the new build, the Hellheart, Strength, or Dexterity, 3 Great River Snail, 3 Field Marshal, 3 Bonded Summons, 3 Concentration, this class is truly powerful. Now, the strongest class is probably already known to everyone, that is the Druid. A combination of two expensive classes, one from Season 0, Animancer, and one from Season 1, Herbalist, which when Season 1 was released, Animancer was sold for 500 gems. Its performance in Valkyrie is simply terrifying. The top has climbed to 2360, and those who follow closely behind are not far behind. It doubles the other classes I mentioned above. With a build focusing on bonus minnows power and skill CD, this class will cost you a lot, with the most expensive being the Volcanic Hephaestus, a very rare gem to find in both Season 1 and Season 0. Okay, this is my top 5 based on my assessment and relying on Valkyrie. You may not be satisfied with this ranking, and if so, please comment on the ranking you think is the most accurate below the video for me to refer to, and there may be a video about the top you suggest. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you for your enthusiastic support. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.